Viewer discretion is advised, as here now we have a history lesson. That firstly regarding Tyga at Tyga Over Heaven, now also with a secondary account, clarifying they are a Twitch partner and under this name of Tyga Under Hell. But before we start talking about the present, let's go back 14 months ago, as at that time this was a very popular and much collabed with VTuber, even set to join the Digicomi event, which of course is associated with both V Shoujo and Hall Live talents. But then things came crashing down as one of this VTuber's previous mods had released this document. The document alleging, among many other things, with accusations and screenshots of racism, transphobia, general toxicity, and yes, pedophilia. And while Taiga would go on to deny the claims made in this document, saying it was done from a situation and a mod that was very much angry with them, the one particular screenshot that is not being denied is this one, as this is a conversation between Taiga and one of their mods, with the mod stating out, bruh, a server I'm a mod in, a loot poster turned out to be under 18, but he's friends with the owner, so I need to go through 20 pages of nudes, deleting them individually, with Taiga responding, send me em though, mod responding, Ty that bad, Taiga responding further, you saw him too, you better share, just copy it and send it here, wait, how young, the mod confirming that the pictures are of a 17 year old, and Taiga responding, oh, who cares? At this time, Bungo Taiga would then begin to respond, firstly by removing numerous tweets, but effectively being cut off from the VTuber community as a whole. Their major collabs gone, their Dakomi appearance gone, with this talent instead taking less to Twitter and moving on to TikTok, maintaining an audience on Twitch in the hundreds, now re-debuting on July 31st with this new live 2D model to an audience of over 2,000 viewers. During this debut, a very big point was made that the model had cost 9,000 Canadian dollars. This in of itself led to pushback, Taiga later saying, taking down the showcase video due to the amount of aspiring VTubers under the misconception that every VTuber needs to buy an expensive model. VTubing is a hobby first and foremost, and you should only invest however much money you see fit, and that varies from person to person. Saying further, buying an expensive model should never be considered a requirement for entry and entry any notion that it is, is toxic and discourages new VTubers entering the scene. The attention to this model and pushback, of course, brought the older 14-month allegations out again, now leading to Taiga to recently send out a twit longer earlier today entitled Clearing the Air, with this part addressing the screenshot that we had shown, saying the screenshot of me asking to be shown lewds, not nudes like people love to claim, although yes, in the document it does say 20 pages of nudes of someone suspected to be under 18 was was merely a crude joke. However, it was absolutely disgusting to say, I would never make that joke today. It was completely inappropriate, but at the time, that was my sense of humor. And for context, since the original callout is completely lacking, I was a teenager just finishing off high school, and the person in question was allegedly 17. What is even more gross to me looking back is joking about asking for someone's private images without consent from the actual person. If anything, I should have been more vocal about how they let a minor post more than 20 images of themselves in the server they were moderating before verifying their age. And again, the document goes into explaining other aspects of the documents that we will link to below, with the term Taiga then trending on Twitter, a name that is actually not uncommon in the VTuber scene. As here we also have Invictus Taiga at Taiga Chama, the Catman bartender who claims to be unromanceable, stating, Hi guys, I know a Taiga is trending, but the one that's trending is definitely not me, so please don't send me posts about them. I'm just a kitty bartender, thank you. This as we now move on to another Another hot subject, Nijisaji English's Renzoto, the deadly alien prince from Nijisaji English, letting us know my song Blue Sugar is finally being released on Spotify and more streaming platforms on August 3rd, while this alien who doesn't understand our customs has taken to randomly atting others on Twitter. Personally sending this message to his senpai, Debbie Debaru, saying the most powerful creature I have encountered on this planet by far is Debbie Debaru. They might even rival my own alien strength. I want to know more about them, leading to a very defensive offensive Petra Gurren to say Debisama is my number one Oshi. What do you want to know? Depending on the answer, I may have to, and then posting a knife emoji, and also leading to a very confused Debi Debaru. But the one at that certainly turned a lot of heads was this one, with Renzoto saying, hello Burb. That being to Hall Live English's Nanashi Mume, who from time to time has replied to Nijisanji talents when they were directly replying to something she had posted. But in this case, she did not reply to Ren. Point and laugh, everybody. 
point and laugh. She, however, was busy sending messages to Muna Hoshinova of Hall Live Indonesia, saying, I woke up with the Discord notification of Mume message. Guess I have some job to do. And here we also have this artwork referenced by the Mume message book, saying we are currently in the process of gathering messages and art for Mume's birthday and first anniversary fan book, with the submission being until August 6th. So yeah, no reply from Moomers, but there were certainly a lot of replies from, well, those who were not appreciative of this atting. And while we could certainly take time to simply show some of those very, very combative messages, it's very clear, Rinzotto is simply inconsolable at this time. Oh, no, wait, actually, he's just gone on to post this saying, comfy, happy. But before that, posting this, reminder to my supporters, don't be mean to other VTubers in order to protect me. If you care about me, then please be respectful to everyone, possibly referencing replies in that thread, but also replies that came about as part of an Aluna collab with Ren saying, yeah, we were all just having fun and messing with each other. We love and care about everyone in Aluna. Some people need to chill out. With Ren Senpai Vox Akuma, quote, retweeting that message and pointing it out. And with Vox also recently having a drunk stream with Shoto. With Mama Azira further letting us know, in case you're a minor in the Nizi Sanji EN fandom and aren't watching Vox and Shoto's drunk stream, essentially they got into discussion of their age limits for their streams and they both said they don't want minors, even 17 year olds watching their streams, even non not safe for work streams. Wow, what a concept. That said, Vox and the rest of Luxium are not short for fans as now we turn to Anime Fest. With Jezebel saying, what a wild day. Thank you Luxium for having me as your MC. Nothing quite like hearing the audience obliterate the equipment by cheering. And so here we have a picture of the audience by Stefano saying big crowd and wait a second, I think I see a girl or two in this photo. What the hell is going on around here? And the soap opera continues with Niji Sanja English as we also turn to Millie Parfait taking part in an off collab saying I hugged Uki, that being Uki Violetta of Niji Sanja English, and then simply posting the most scandalous tweet we've ever seen saying when will Uki and I have an affair? Leading to this reply of what about Fu Chan, that being Folger Ovid who is now a part of this strange love triangle. And that concern of course coming from the unofficial number one mom of Niji Sanji English, Nina Kosaka. Looking forward to her off collab saying I can't wait to meet Enna, Millie, and Alira. Don't tell them but I'm so shy. I hope they like me. I hope they want to do shots off my tummy. I'm not very fit right now but I hope they can look past it. What an amazing mom. As the off collab would end, Millie would say I get really sad whenever hangouts end but it keeps me going that I will get to meet them again and make more fun memories. And here now is a memory we wish we could forget as we turn to Scarlet Yunaguni tweeting out, yes, I do put the milk before the cereal. It's better that way. Terrifying everyone in the responses except for Amelie, the monarch VTuber, replying, finally, someone like me. And things VTubers say would like to point out, Scarlet and Amelie have never been seen in the same room together. Hmm. Next up, Hyrus. It's Iris. Project Hope's V-Singer having a little bit of a run here in this work from Minchi Anda. And who is a part of the Omo Cat Project Hope Hollow Council Collection with this apparel selling out and Omo Cat responding, we appreciate the support for the Omo Cat Project Hope Hollow Council Collection. We will do our best to restock sold out styles and sizes as soon as we can. Thank you. We also have this announcement from Omo Cat saying they are collaborating with Hall Live English and Hall Live Indonesia as the official apparel partner for Hall Live Meet. See you at Crunchyroll Expo. As yes, this may be the first confirmation we have Hall Live Indonesia Omo Cat apparel coming down the line. And Crunchyroll is also teaming up with Iris for this, a full interview. And that's not all, as they are rolling out other interviews with Hall Live English, including that of Mori Calliope today, saying, interview alert, Crunchyroll had questions, so I answered, enjoy the read, everyone. Also alerting us to this member stream, stating it's not, quote, just an etchy thumbnail, end quote. Okay, Adam Sandler is there, for God's sake. We also have this from Callie. Calliope Mori has my favorite voice in Hall Live by far. It's so unique and occasionally sounds like sweet bird song. <laughs> Receiving this reply from Kana Uru, this is the voice of a major record label artist. This while Callie would send off these professional shots from her latest concert, stating happiest night of my existence, the fellow performer on stage, Tsunamaki Watame, replying in English, let's stand on the stage together again. Yes, it's a very busy time for this dad VTuber, most especially when it comes to her and her sons, those of course being the Hollow Stars English Tempest members, being lured into this shady van 
banned by this shady VTuber that as Fenori gives us this Tempest family outing, showing off more of the challenges of taming these talents, including that of Magni Desmond, the alchemist of Hollow Stars English, receiving from Koa Fan this Lightning Mag Queen. As the Magster would give us this Kachow, Callie responding, I'm getting invested in the extended Magniverse, but also with virtual dog Mary, stating, Hey Magni, my cousin Lumi and I had quite extensive discussion on the matter of car reproduction within the Cars universe. This is related to whether cars within this world get pregnant or not, and the ramifications and consequences of such a thing. Care to give your insight? As at the time, Magni would simply respond, Mary, please, it's too early for this, but it's never too early for this. Pagata giving us some of this more speed of sound artwork between Magni and, well, a very particular Sonic the Hedgehog character, which he has stated he is not attracted to. That all while Chichi Roni is serving up these Magni the Hedgehog ice pops. And when asking what flavor is the Magni pop, Scarlet would simply reply, Copium. This coming after Magni has been seen in Scarlet's chat from time to time. But the fan artwork does not end there, as we're magging out even further to this. That coming by way of L, simply asking, please. And again, none of this is going unnoticed by Cover Corporation CEO Yago, who has been caught retweeting numerous pieces and works like these. But if you want to talk about Superfan, here we have Tobin Jacobs showing off these photos. My latest project, similar to when I covered my second floor of my house, I covered one of my rooms completely with hollow myth. One day, it will be cool to have an exhibit at my house as I continue to make these crazy unhinged rooms slash shrines, LOL, but nah. And not only do these VTubers have big fans, but they have lots of them. Especially with Hall Live Japan, we have Omara Polka, now celebrating 1 million YouTube subscribers saying po po po, po po po, po 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 po. Thank you a million people. Really, thank you to the whole world. Thank God. That now also bringing us to Hosho Marine, as now over 2 million YouTube subscribers are saying ahoy with this pirate captain who has a new design that requires you to log into Twitter to see, or we can simply show you the photos here. This being a new design for her 3D model, Marine has also released a music video that apparently had been censored, with this captain going on to pixelate some of the uncensored results here, saying, I will distribute mosaic free versions of scenes from the music video every month for membership only. Please check out the first distribution. As here, we also have this shot from one of our wonderful Discord users, this being a fan billboard for Hosho Marine's happy birthday, which as you can see here was certainly, well, very well placed, or more so, more accurately placed on this particular building. And lastly, with Hall Live Japan, we have the elite Sakura Miko, celebrating her fourth anniversary, complete with a tapestry, cushions, and also elite hoodie, and taking to the stage with a 3D concert, with Amaro Polka taking notice of the twin tails, saying it looks great with your new outfit. I want to see it on different outfits. But yes, apparently this concert was one step too powerful. Miko saying the archive seems to have died, having originally in Japan being blocked due to a copyright notice. This all while Miko has also released a brand new cover song from Deco27, and now bringing us over to another pink-haired VTuber, that being V Shoujo's Iron Mouse, who all throughout July has been teasing us, posting this screen and saying, I'll be seeing you guys real soon, don't miss me too much. The day after, what's that? You were coming to see me at Anime North. The day after, you guys just can't stop sinning, can you? As yes, Mouse is posting leaks of numerous new models coming up for herself, with this on the 31st of July, this the day before, and this later in the day, that as she has now shown this, a collab between Meriwether Media and V Shoujo for the V Shoujo Mythos Heavenfall, with this lore video being rumored to be over 20 minutes long, and to be released on Iron Mouse's five-year anniversary on August 4th. And now, very quickly, a thank you to Cam Camte Hamsta, saying false ID finally saw my addition, so I finally am posting the Heidi PNGs, as yes, we will have news on Heidi and Cody very soon. That all while Moustache is bringing us this very realistic illustration of our co-host, who had asked, who also likes to eat the crunchy small uncooked ramen noodles at the end of the bag. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch, and we'll have more. Things VTubers say for you soon.